<laughs> Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Um, I am making scones, or rather, I just finished making scones um, for Santa, of course, because Santa likes scones and whiskey, for those of you not in the know. Um, so I made some uh, chocolate coconut raspberry scones and some traditional blueberry scones for that, and then I also just finished making my cinnamon rolls. So, um, but... What we're going to share with you today is the recipe that Mike used to make his turkey gravy from scratch from one of our birds that we did for Friendsgiving. Um, it was a hit. It was like probably the best gravy I think anybody ever had. It was really, really good and we're going to share that with you. He, he uh, filmed himself making it um, that day. So follow the simple steps and the bouncing ball and you too can have amazing gravy for your Christmas turkey or goose or chicken, or, you know, something, something, whatever. Merry Christmas. We're just going to spread these coals out. This pan's going to go in the middle. The bird's going to sit on top in the middle. And the heat's going to be all around it, but not directly under it. So I'm setting it right on top of that pan. The idea there is that as this thing cooks it's going to drip down onto that pan I'm going to catch some of those drippings, some of that fat okay this bird has been cooking for about an hour what I'm going to do is giblets and such down into that roasting pan. I'm going to take this part and just uh, slice it, open it up, drop it down there in the grease, the neck, get it in there, my gizzard, cut that into a couple of pieces. I want to be able to get as much flavor out of these as I can. Those in there. And three, four carrots. And I'm going to go ahead and lose the tops. A lot of times I'll cook these with the tops on. I'm not going to today because they're just going to catch on fire in there. <laughs> but a lot of times that would go really nicely in the stock. In fact, I'll take a little bit of this top right here. And I'll put that in there. These guys here. A white onion here. And then keep these chunks kind of big. Reach under that bird. So it's dripping into my pan there. That's going to become my gravy later. See that cooking down there? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So we got the. Uh, we got the giblet pan out from under the bird. I added some fresh chopped garlic there. Uh, now I'm going to get this back up to a simmer on here. Maybe add a little bit of stock. And we're going to keep cooking this down. My bird's sitting over here resting. We'll let that rest for about an hour probably. Let it cool down. Let it cool Hi. down. Let it cool down. That's what we say. What's your shirt say? It says that um, lawn flamingos are my spirit animal. I'm gonna pull this neck out of here. I don't like these tongs. Okay, what we got right here is a little bit of my wife's mountain man apple pie. Uh, it's a homemade recipe. It does have alcohol in it. 
uh, but this is going to add some uh, some acid and some really nice apple flavor. <clears throat> some of our homemade pluot jam, believe it or not. So this is going to add a nice uh, sweet sweet tartness to it, uh, combined with that acid. Uh, this should be amazing. We're going to go ahead with some salt here. Fresh cracked pepper. In fact, I'm going to add some more liquid to that. I've got some stock here, uh, chicken stock that I made. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add this to it and get some more liquid in here. I can add water if I want to, but this is really good chicken stock. I made it last week. I'm just going to uh, start getting some of this out of here. I do want to lay this stuff into the colander and mash it just a hair, but uh, I'm doing it this way just to maybe prevent making a little bit of a mess. Yeah. Take this bad boy. I'm going to get all that. So that's what we got left right there. So I'm going to transfer this to a glass bowl while it sits so I can separate the fat. We'll get all these. Add those to our gravy. See that oil separating now? To the top, where we're going to pull the stock out and leave the oil. That's our gravy right there. It's pretty handy like that, man. That's pretty good right there. I'm calling it, man. By golly, how do you like know. them apples? So now we just need to thicken it up a little. And we're going to do that with a little bit of jovial uh, einkorn flour. We're just going to let that uh, keep reducing a little bit. It's a little, needs to thicken up a little bit. All right, there it is. The final product right there. I'm going to put it in here. Well, there you have it. That is how you make a uh, homemade gravy from hopefully your locally grown raised bird uh, from the drippings of the pan and all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoy making your gravy as much as we enjoyed sharing it with you. Have a very, very Merry Christmas and a happy, happy holiday season here from us at the Crouch Ranch to you guys. And uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, click the bell so that you get our notifications when we post something new or when we go live. And uh, Merry Christmas. Redundancy at its finest. <laughs>